Hello, and welcome back to Floor Planner. My name is Bob. Back here again, as I always say, I'm here for customer success. I'm here for you all to share with you as much information as possible to keep you on the right track going forward as you progress with your technique and skills with Floor Planner. Um, Happy New Year. Um, we're going to be talking today about a couple updates that were added last month for the month of January 2022. So let's get started. Um, I want to show you where to find those new features as new updates uh, as they go live in your system. You do get notification on that. And so to do so, I'm actually in my floor planner account currently. And if you just go to your profile tab in the upper left hand corner, those four squares up there, that'll get you to your profile tab. And in your profile tab, you get the right hand sidebar. With that right hand sidebar, sure enough, there are the new features listed right here. Here's the two we're going to be talking about today. They most currents do surface to the top. So if we go in there and I go ahead and hit the more button in there, it actually goes right to the updates. And this is where we left off the last time we did a recording before we did a little review of the top 10 from last year. But this is where we left off with the showing the exports in the editor um, on the left hand side. Really, really cool that you can actually find your images uh, while you're actually in the project. You don't have to exit the project anymore. But here we go. This is what we're talking about today. These two new updates that have come out. Um, favoriting items. Um, those of you that are uh, plus accounts and higher with Floor Planner are aware of favorites currently. Um, but those of you that are the free accounts, the basic, the basic accounts that are the entry level coming into Floor Planner, um, haven't had the opportunity to uh, explore how favorites work and such. Well, you do now. Um, this has just gone live. So you can now as a basic uh, entry level free with Floor Planner, you can go ahead and actually favorite items in your user database inside your platform. So you can favorite furniture pieces, assets. You can also favorite materials and paints. So uh, maybe we'll do a quick little glance at that when we open up a project so I can show you where those favorites are listed. And just since we're in here, I'll show you what the second update is that we're going to talk about this for everybody. This is something I've been waiting for. This is exquisite. Um, currently, you are building your 3D model and you're placing camera views inside your, your 3D model while you're in 3D. And you're naming those camera views, positioning them correctly, changing the order of how they uh, actually lay out in your system of the stack of cameras. Great. Um, then you hop back into your 2D view and you're like, oh, now where was my camera view? Hmm. Guess what? Now <laughs> you can go into 2D after you've created your cameras and say, oh, let's see, you can now see your cameras in the 2D plan. Uh, and they, there's a little toggle switch like there always are. Uh, very simple, just go ahead and turn it on. It's, it's in the settings. Uh, I'll show you where that is, um, where it's show cameras. And in the view settings, you'll, you'll see all of the cameras that appear inside your plan, including the, the 3D preview. So you can actually select the camera, even move the camera, and you see a preview of it all while you're in still 2D. You can still do everything you could do before with 3D, um, but this is this is a, a game changer as far as I'm concerned. So let's go ahead and take a peek at those. I'll open up a little demo project. Um, let's hop over here real quick. And let's go to my projects. And my little 3D tour stuff here. Let's take a peek. So here is a project and it has cameras that I've already created. I've created the cameras actually over here in 3D. So hop into 3D and I got my camera views running and opened up here. I, I renamed a lot of my cameras to so know what the views names are instead of camera one, two, three, four, five, et cetera. So there's my cameras, I've created them and I can certainly hop between my cameras here while I'm in 3D or create another camera with the camera plus sign up here, position it and change its name with the edit uh, pencil over here uh, if you need to. Um, whatever works best for you, well, that's fine. But you can also go ahead and go back into 2D and inside 2D, um, don't see the cameras yet. 
So you need to go into the settings tab. So every time you see a gear inside floor planner, it takes you to an extra set of kind of power user tools. Um, so there's, a, there's the settings for 2D. And of course, when you're in 3D, you have a unique tab over here also for 3D, but for 2D settings, open it up and now in the general settings when we have general furniture lighting etc in the general settings down at the very bottom there is a new toggle switch down here for showing the cameras while you're in 2d you turn that switch on and you just go ahead and take a peek over here um, i could left click on this particular camera view down here and now you're getting a 3d image as to what that camera is and what that view is actually going to be without having to go back to 3d to take a peek at these so while we're in 2d we can hop over to another camera you can even take these cameras and go ahead and uh, move them uh, throughout the plan and it'll actually change the view that you see up here and you can also with the little white dot down here Go ahead and change out the angle that you're looking at. And also, while it's still selected, you get the left hand sidebar, which is typical with anything. Click on it, left click, and you get the left hand sidebar with anything. So, even a camera, do the same. And you get the left hand sidebar. Currently, the left hand sidebar is powered at this point um, that you can actually change the set elevation of the camera for its viewing. You can also move it up and down on the bar over here accordingly for different heights, which also changes your view. You can see exactly what's happening. You can also change the view to the target point in height as to what you're looking up or looking down. And you can even change the field of view to be a little bit more of a wide angle lens. Personally, I like to keep this field of view as small as possible. So it keeps everything nice and linear, a little bit more of a magazine quality image. Um, so you have all the powers of the left-hand sidebar over here, plus the navigation in 2D to now start moving your cameras around in place so you can actually get the sense as to, am I coming from the corner? Am I coming from the wall? And seeing the preview of it, over here at the same time. Um, currently, how it's running is that once we make these modifications and changes to moving a camera over here, um, it's going to change it in the system. So the update camera type button that you're used to in 3D, this will take care of it just by moving it here. And of course, at the end, going ahead and saving your project um, to resave your project with your diskette up here. That's important. You need to save it to the cloud with the changes, but that up it will update for you uh, for the changes that you made while you were in 2D. Um, awesome. Please start playing with this. Remember that is in the settings for 2D general settings. It's the toggle switch at the bottom that is show cameras or not show cameras. Now, I did promise you that I was going to share with you a little bit about the favorites also. So let's go take uh, how, those, how do those favorites work. So furniture alone. So I'm actually logged in, of course, as my account. So, you know, maybe I uh, fell in love with this particular sofa, this chair or a specific light fixture. If you left click on it again, left click once, you get the left hand sidebar with the left hand sidebar. You have uh, all the information about that particular item. Plus, you start noticing these little stars that show up, or there may be an eye for an info button that goes to a star. The stars are your favorites. So now if you're a basic user, the free entry level with Floor Planner, you also can favorite to a limited amount where others do not have the limit, but you'll have a limited uh, opportunity to do this. You can go up to 20 different items. Um, so you just go ahead and click the star, and notice that it turned blue. Um, and now with that item now being favorited, so when I'm working on a brand new project, this will stay in my favorites until I would ever take it out of my favorites. So I'll go back for a second. And when I'm looking at maybe my assets down here, so these are my furniture assets, my three-dimensional assets inside here. I also have another star up here. Now that star is actually where you're, you specific to you as a user, you will actually see any of the items that you've actually favorited. And these are all the items that I've favorited in the past, things that I like to use over and over again. And there it is. There's that same chair that I just favorited. So every time I start a brand new project or while I'm working on this project, until I would unfavorite them, I can just now take it from here and just go ahead and drag in another chair. Um, again, this is really great when, when you find those favorite lamps, favorite plants, favorite accessories that you like to work with and you want to keep them handy instead of having to do a search for them 
out of 150,000 assets. Nice to have them convenient and ready to go. Um, and again, this works also for material. So if we go into the material library and we start looking at maybe I have a favorite wood floor that I like to use all the time. I have this really nice driftwood down here, this Nordic ash. Um, there are little eye buttons, identification buttons in the upper right hand corner, a little different than the star. But if I go ahead and left click on that, notice this gives me all the information about this particular material. And one of the options in there is also to add to my favorites for materials. So if I go ahead and select that, say it's added to my favorites, I, this is where you would also remove it from your favorites, but it's now in my favorites list for materials. So I don't have to go searching for it anymore. Anytime I'm working within materials, I also have a star up here, ready to go, hit that star. And there it is, there's my favorite grass out there. And there's that new Nordic ash and say, well, I just drag it in from here and drop it in and change out the flooring material. So favorites, and again, you know, certainly can do the same thing for paints. So you know, go into paints. Yep, there's the favorites for my paints inside here. And when you start getting into ranges of colors for paints, maybe you're looking for like Benjamin Moore, find uh, classic colors or historic colors, find your shades of blue, pick a color. You have an I button in the upper right hand corner, select it again, add to favorites or remove from favorites. I say add to favorites right now, I like that color. Go back and I'm gonna paint from my favorite colors. If I hit my star up here for what's stored in my category of favorites now, there it is, that new blue color that we just painted out there. And you just drag and drop from here and start painting your walls accordingly. So again, as a basic user, congratulations. You now have access to favoriting materials and your assets up to 20. Um, if you want to do more, certainly change your subscription level to uh, plus or higher, and you will have larger quantities available to you um, for favoriting. Appreciate your time today. Hope you have a chance to explore these. Check out those new cameras in 2D. I think this is awesome. I think you have a lot of fun with it. And I look forward to seeing you maybe at one of my future live webinars or catch me again in the next recording for next month. I hear there's a lot in the pipeline, a lot of excitement coming up. Have a great day. Thanks.